Well guys, it's been our seven days. We're fixing to, we've been flipping them every day. We fixing to take them out now and wash them good. Get some of this sugar and all off of them because boy, they are sticky. And man, I'm gonna tell you what, they looking good. They are looking good. I think they dropped out in the sink here. Today just happened to be garbage day. Perfect. And it happens to be the first cold day we've had. You want cold water now. You want to run some cold water over these, you want to just wash them off as good as you can. Get some of that salt and sugar and all off this outside out here. Miss Wanda did clean her sink while you threw that in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Miss Wanda cleaned all her sink. She does, she does, a, does a good job. All right. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> that is such pretty bacon right there, buddy. I mean, this one turned out to be really, really nice. Now we're gonna take them one at a time and lay them over here. The whole purpose is to dry it out some before we start smoking. Oh yeah, you want them to be dried out a little bit before you start smoking. Smoke adheres to the dry meat a lot better than it does wet meat. And we have videos on all this process, but we're just showing everybody one more time. We didn't show you the full process of actually salting it and all that, because we got other videos that we're gonna use for that purpose. We got one side dried, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this bacon hook in here. I learned a long time ago, if you put that bacon hook way, because a lot of people stick it way down here, you go start slicing up your bacon, you get all these holes in it and everything. I mean, I'm just trying to, I try to put mine as little up there at the top as I can. I just take my time and this ain't one of them, you just don't want to rush yourself through this process. That side holds a little bit more moisture than the other side does. lay this one down it's good and dry it's good and dry now we got to work on it we're getting this other one here done you need to keep you some good bunch of paper towels that's one thing for sure and wax paper to keep it yep, clean wax paper to keep everything clean you don't want to lay it on like aluminum and stuff this is aluminum we got here you don't want your meat coming in contact with your aluminum if you have stainless stainless is okay but not aluminum. aluminum is corrosive Bacon needs to air dry for a while. So that's what we're gonna do here. While we're getting everything ready over to smoker and all that kind of stuff, we're gonna let it uh, we're gonna let it air dry in here.
You ready to smoke bacon? Yeah, the barometric pressure is real low this morning and it's not wanting to start coming up through here. It wants to keep coming out the door, so I'm having to kind of work with it to get it to start coming into the smokehouse. Most people don't realize how the weather affects smoke and its travel and stuff like that. I mean, we have some coming out, but uh, I'm trying to get the fire started. Once I get the heat going, it'll probably be fine, but everything's cold. When you got cold pipes, it's hard to get a draft. December 15th, the huckleberries are in full bloom. Let's ride. Okay, guys, we're gonna be uh, whew. we're gonna be hot smoking today because it's not gonna be cold enough, long enough today uh, to be able to cold smoke. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna hot smoke this baby today, and that way it won't take as long to do it. We're gonna ramp the fire up. We're gonna dry it off first, and then we're gonna make us some good bacon.
That come? Yep. I'll leave him. They got to come off. Yeah, he's up good now. Well, it'll only register to 220, so I'm pretty sure we're hotter than that. But it's a good temperature. Now we just gonna cook it a little bit. Yep, we'll cook it for a while. All right, guys, I've never had it get this hot on me before. I, I didn't realize this thing would keep going beyond the 220. It's over at the zero again, and it's, uh, Have I you guess checked your meat? No, it's about two, do that. 240 or 250 right now, it looks like. <laughs> okay, guys, it's been three hours. I'm gonna check the internal temperature of my bacon to see where we're at because I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, about the situation here and I'll explain. Uh, let me see if I can. You see how it's sitting here dripping grease everywhere? Uh, I got grease all over the floor of my thing here and if all it takes is one spark in here, this thing will catch on fire. So I've got to, uh, I gotta check the internal temperature of this for it to be Okay guys, we're at 150. Uh, that is where I was looking for. I'm fixing to shut this baby down and just doing nothing but smoking now because it's, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's done. Yeah. That's some pretty meat right there. I mean, I'll, this other, I mean, it's uh. Check it too. Yeah, we'll check one of them other ones there. It went to 149 right off. Yeah. It's 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 gonna get there. I can already tell you. Uh, I'm I'm okay. 145 is okay with pork. I just went to 150 because I felt like that. You know that's where there it is. It, well, that's the safe zone. So we're just gonna start smoking with all this grease in here. I'm a little nervous if I keep it hot about sparks getting in here and uh, you know, this thing catching on fire because I couldn't stop it with all that grease. All right, we're just kind of washing it, getting any smoky residue off the outside of the meat. Um, I always do that. Then we'll pat it back dry again. Plus, this helps to kind of cool it down, too. We're going to pat it back down, and then we're going to take it out there, and we're going to hang it in the cooler for a few hours to let it kind of the outside to kind of dry good. And then we're going to put it in the refrigerator overnight, and we're going to uh, slice it tomorrow. Look at that. It's beautiful. Isn't that pretty? No nitrites. That's what you wanted is a nice yeah, a firm bit. piece of that's bacon. A firm piece there now. Isn't that All awesome? Right. Yeah, that's a good. Now we're gonna like square it right here. And why do we cut it in half? Because the slicer, it makes it a lot easier with the slicer to uh, slice it small. Plus, the cooking. Plus, when you cook it, it don't curl all up in the skillets and stuff like that. It really our skillets are smaller. We don't need a large. And it's just me and you. We don't eat big giant pieces at the same time. So I'm probably gonna start like this one out right here. And these pieces will be used for like beans and rice and all kind of stuff like that. They can Look be cut that. up for. Um, 
and just yeah. fried for giblets of yeah. bacon, whatever. Yeah, all kinds of stuff like that. So, okay. Look. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Ooh, man. That is some fine looking bacon there now. I'll figure out what size. We just have to run it to see what size we want. All right, let's look at it here. That's oh. about right, ain't it? That's really good. That's good right there. Yes. Yes. This thing about if you don't use no nitrites, it won't be pink. There ain't no truth to that. It's pink. Look at that. Ooh, Miss Wanda. Boy, that's that's pretty bacon right there. And we only put about, I don't know how much that is, but about that many slices at a time in a pack because it's just the two of us. Right. And we have smaller packs and smaller sessions, and you don't have some in the fridge going to waste if you forget it's there. Right. We ain't going to forget this is there. I ain't going to forget it. You ain't going to have to worry about that. Oh, I imagine we're going to have a piece of bacon for supper tonight. I do imagine we are. All right, guys, here we have the tub. And we have, this is one quarter of our bacon here now. And Miss Wanda is wrapping 20 slices per uh, wrap here because we eat four per morning. That's enough to last us for a week. Oh, of five, well, four, five days, yeah. And, she's, and you want to cover each end yeah. and lap it over. And you want to try and make it an envelope like thing. And you want to roll it. Because if you can roll it twice, like this is one sheet, rolling it again puts two it's more like over. Like double layer in it, yeah. yeah. And then it's kind of like an envelope. You want to know where I learned to wrap meat like that? <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, guys, this is some pretty... Bacon, all this stuff about you got to have nitrites to make it pink, that is not true. Okay, so we're doing two stacks. Yes. And it wraps so much better. And I'm going to turn one each way. Make it more square. Yeah. Is that, if that's proper. And then over and fold it in. Fold it in. And you want to make sure your sides are up with your... Bacon here and roll. I used to own a deer processing plant, guys. I wrapped a lot, a lot of ground meat in my time. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, we got a lot more to wrap here, and then we'll go get the other section and we'll start slicing it. All right, here's the second side. That smoked really well. It is smoked. I don't know about we. Perfect. I think we hit this one really good. Boy, that's some... And it dried really well. Yeah, it dried out really, really good. Look at that. I mean, that's in the wrong direction, but I mean. Cut this else? side and see what it looks like. Let's cut this off right here and see what we got. And I'm making bacon bits out of these ends he's doing. I'm cutting them up in tiny pieces. We're going to make some bacon bits. That's some nice bacon bits right, right there. there. Ooh, that's good. All right, let's see what it looks like. What oh, it looks like. Look at that. Yes. Man. Let's get this other one while we're doing it so we can just... Just slice. Yeah, we can. When we go to start slicing, we can just slice. And we had, what, eight packs a while ago? Yep. Out of the first quarter. This is why we don't trim our bacon out real square before we start is because this is the way we get all of our bacon bit pieces that we can use. Now, technically, this is cooked. I mean, you could you could actually eat it right now because we hot smoked it. 
But one is going to put it in a frying pan and hot yeah. it a little more. Ooh, yeah, we're going to. I'll take a slice or two to get it. Get it rolling, huh? That looks awesome. That. That's some nice bacon. That bacon there is more lean than it is fat. Look at that. That's some beautiful bacon right there. No nitrites, and it's just as pink as it can be. Round two. Round two. Our second piece to cut up. I wanted to get all that good old bacon wrapped up there. Man, alive. Mm. Well, guys, here we are with our third one. We cut these longer because it would fit in the machine and wouldn't have a you know anything hanging over. So we actually ended up with nine packs here. We're gonna have. We can eat a, twice a month right now. Right now, at this point, we can eat bacon two weeks a month. And we still got one more to go. Now this is two weeks a month for a year. And we got one more to go. I'm anxious to see this next one, how much we get off of it. Cause I'm gonna tell you something. God, you just, look at that. Well guys, we finished slicing up the last piece here. Oh man, look at that. I think this is some of the prettiest bacon I've ever made. We end up with 33 packs, five days a week. So that's 33 weeks out of the year. We can have bacon five days a week. Well, we've ended up now um, very satisfied with the bacon that we made. Now for 33 weeks, like I said, we can have bacon five days a week. But guys, that's not all. We've still got link sausage to go. So I don't know how much link sausage we'll end up making. I'm pretty sure We'll make enough to last for a long time. And if that's the case, we're going to be able to have breakfast meat for a whole year out of one pig. Oh, and not to mention all the patty sausage. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we got all the patty sausage to go, too. So, ah, this, this pig has served us well. So, guys... Never underestimate what you can do with one animal to feed yourself for a year if you schedule it out right. sugar in it from that point. It is so crispy. Mm. That's mm. good. It's not too salty. Nope. Not too sweet. Mm -mm. Mm. Eat your hearts out, guys. Mmm. Mmm. It's a little dark on the edges because I might have overcooked it just a little bit with the sugar that's in it, but it's Wanda likes it that way. I love it. Y'all, Danny makes some good bacon. That recipe right there. Go watch the video. It's awesome. No nitrites. No nitrites. Still red. I know y'all want some. Mm, smell of it. Yeah. Smell. Yeah. This is awesome. Mm. Bye, guys.